going to go ahead and do another one. These are kind of tricky, so I want you to have as many as possible uh, as you can. But th I think this is going to be the last one I'm going to do. I'm going to do number 7 on page 430. Actually, it's 434. So I have the curves y equals x squared. That's my regular old parabola. And I have x equals y squared. That's a sideways parabola. So I have those two shapes, and they want me to rotate around the x-axis. Okay, so it's important here because one thing you have to notice is one expression is in terms of x's, the other one's in terms of y's. You can't mix the two, so you're going to have to change one. And this is one where you've got to really know what you're doing to know whether or not you're going to use x's or y's. This is when you need to have it memorized. When you're doing the disk washer method, whatever axis you're rotating around, that's the variable you want to use. So I want everything in terms of x's. Okay, So I have to take this x equals y squared and I have to change it so that y is by itself. So that gives me square root of x, um, y equals the square root of x. Okay, so now that's my two curves. So I shouldn't even draw the integral yet. It's too early. It's too early. So y equals x squared is one of my curves. y equals the square root of x is the other one. So, uh, let's go ahead and graph it, because we're always supposed to graph it. y equals x squared, that's a regular parabola, like that. Goes through the origin, my drawing is kind of wonky. And then, uh, square root of x goes like this. Our region that's bounded is right here. And I'm rotating that around the x-axis. So I am going to have a washer situation. Uh, we always talk about how you draw your little cross sections perpendicular to the axis you're rotating around. And you can see, if I draw those little cross sections, here's my little three-dimensional mirror th shape, you are going to have an outside circle and an inside circle. So, we need boundaries, though. So, I need X boundaries. I need to know where does this shape start on the left and where does it end on the right. Those are my intersection points. So set those two equations in terms of x's equal to each other. You have to make sure you have the same variable here. So x squared equals square root of x. Square both sides. Get rid of that radical. I ain't, ain't nobody got time for radicals. x squared squared is x to the fourth. Square root of x squared gives me just x. Okay, I can't solve it the way it is now. Put these x's together. Bring that x over. So I have x to the fourth minus x. That gives me zero. If I have 0 on one side, I can do some solving. Factor out an x. So I can look at that and I can tell my two solutions are x equals 0 or x equals positive 1. Those are your boundaries. We are ready to go, as they say. So my boundaries are 0 to 1. Okay, pi r squared. Radius of the outside circle. Look at your shape. Look at what you're rotating around. This blue curve is going to be the outside circle. So the radius of that is from the blue down to the line. And so that's the um, square root of x. The blue is the square root of x. So the radius is square root of x, and I have to square that, pi r squared, minus the radius of the inside curve. Well, that's the green one. Okay. So the green one is the x squared. So there's my radius there. You have to square that. And now I'm ready to go. I got nothing but calculus now. So you know what? I'll, I'm going to pull the pi out because I don't need pi. It's not necessary. We'll put it in at the end. Square root of x squared is x. x squared squared is x to the fourth. That's what I get. Do your antiderivative. So I get x squared over 2 minus x to the fifth over five. I'm plugging in the boundaries of one and zero. One squared over two gives me one half. Uh, one to the fifth over five gives me one fifth. Subtract what you get when you plug in zero. Well, that's zero. When you get a common denominator, you get five tenths minus two tenths. And that leaves me with three tenths. Don't forget your pi. So that's what we have for that one.